Welcome to 30 Second Chances, where we ask deep contemplative questions and provide far too little time to formulate thoughtful, reflective answers. My guest today is singer, songwriter, and record producer Marvin Etzioni. Marvin, how you doing? Doing great. Hello, hello. Good to see you. All Good right, you know the you. dance, 30 seconds on the clock, and then on to the next question. Are you ready? Okay. I'm always ready for you. All right, excellent. Question number one, describe your job to a five-year-old. I write songs. That's almost too simplistic. Well, What's a five-year-old to think? I thought songs just kind of existed. Well, someone writes them just like if you have a blank piece of paper and you wrote your name on the paper and you wrote the name, if your name was Mary and you wrote Mary, there was a before you wrote the Mary and after. So that's what I did. So does somebody write songs for Barney? <laughs> Some, everybody writes songs for everybody. <laughs> I love it. Okay, next question. What record or concert made you want to get into the music business and why? I, the first big show that deeply influenced me was uh, seeing Black Sabbath open for Grand Funk Railroad. It was their first big show. Um, before that, they were playing clubs and the Paranoid album, uh, which hadn't come out yet. And the next day I went to the local record store and I got a copy of Paranoid by Black Sabbath, an Italian copy on Vertigo Records. And uh, it was life changing. Mm. You know, you know, so. What's the Italian word for Paranoid? I don't know. <laughs> it <laughs> next question. Paranoid. Ne <laughs> next question. Tell me about a time that you were woefully underprepared for something. I, I probably this morning, you know, it's like, I think every day it is, is a blank sheet of paper. And, uh, am I prepared to fill it with another song it, when I go into the studio? Am I prepared uh, to delve into the unknown and create something uh, that I haven't heard before? So, you know, I think I'm unprepared every day for what I do. Well, I like that. All right, next question. What's the strangest gig you've ever had? Well, wh wh when you think about it, um, I, I really think uh, just uh, writing songs and producing records, you know, uh, is a strange gig. It's a strange thing to be doing. And I'll tell you why. I, I grew up, in a working class family. So my father was a carpenter. My mom worked in an office. I, I lived close to my grandparents and they worked in sweatshops in downtown LA. Next question. <laughs> Let's pontificate on language for a moment. Why is the word yikes plural? What can you do with a single yike? Uh, fly it. It's, it's, it's actually a Yiddish kite is a yike. Really? No. I had no idea. Hmm. Only kidding. <laughs> wow. I don't it's know. Not, it's, not, it, it's one of those words that you'll rarely hear in songs. I've never heard it. it. It's not an emotional word, so it doesn't draw you in. It can be used technically. But That's true. It's, That's not true. An, it's not an emotion that we tend to uh, use with each other. You might hear, it, it's almost like a, it's an over-exaggerated word. <laughs> Uh, Next question. What's the strangest thing you believed as a small child? Uh, the strangest thing uh, that I believed, I don't want to say the, the word strange doesn't apply, I don't think. But uh, my, my grandfather introduced me to the concept of God when I was a little boy. And I was in the backyard and I asked him uh, to tell me what God was. And he pointed to the sky, he pointed to the trees, and he just said, he's everywhere. And that really resonated with me. It was such a simple answer that it stayed with me. And, and, yeah. I love it. All right, next question. If a theme song had to play whenever you walked into the room, what song would it be and why? You know, my favorite TV show as a kid was the Dick Van Dyke TV show. 
So it'd probably be that. Right. Didn't he like then fall over the Ottoman or something he like fell that? fell over the Ottoman, but later in another, in, as the song progressed, it would go da 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 and he'd look at the Ottoman and then walk around it. <laughs> you expected him to fall over it. Yeah. Life All right, next question. I thought, what a great idea. You know, all, you, all this guy does is write. I go, that, that, I like that idea as a kid. Yeah, it's a great idea. All right, yeah. next question. You have just woken up as a superhero, fictitious yeah. superhero with yeah. a completely pointless and useless superpower. Yeah. What, what are you or who are you and what does your costume look like? I, I, I would say uh, I, would, uh, I would be Marvana and, and, I, and, and uh, my costume is uh, probably the, uh, the suit that, that Lennon wore when he was on his last tour with the brown jacket and the, and the star. What's your it. superpower? Uh, writing, writing songs, but every single song is played on the radio. Every single song that I write is in a major film. That's my superpower. Every single song. Hey, that's a good song, Great. Right? That's a damn good superpower. It sounds lucrative. <laughs> All right, that concludes our regularly scheduled questions. I'm now going to put 30 seconds back on the clock and allow you to either answer for me a question you wish I had asked, shamelessly plug something, pontificate on life, ask me a question, whatever you want to do, 30 seconds, it's all yours, go. Um. I, I think life is about being of service to people, and um, and and I I appreciate hearing people's stories, and and I really appreciate what you're doing uh, by by communicating with people and wanting to hear, even if it's short snippets. You can tell a lot from a person by just hearing short answers. So I, I like this format, and I appreciate you know what you're doing. Well, I love it. Well, thank you. That's fantastic. Marvin Etzioni, thank you for being our guest. Anytime.